Hi everyone, Steph here. Uh, in my previous video, I showed how I decorated these mini styrofoam hearts. And a couple of my subby asked me if I wouldn't mind doing a tutorial. So this is going to be a quick tutorial of showing you how I adhere the fabric to the styrofoam hearts. And you could decorate it um, as however you please. Okay? So I use burlap again and this burlap I got from my good friend Miss Terry thank you so much Terry you want to if if you're going to use a fabric with image just make sure you size up your heart where you want the particular image to show and you cut that out so you're going to cut out two pieces I cut out two pieces square and you don't want it too exact to your heart because you need edges to adhere your trim or whatever you want to the edges because you're going to have raw edges right um, and to adhere the fabric to the styrofoam heart I use fabric tac glue and this is beacon fabric tac glue I think um, the beacon 350 will work as well it's thick it's it grabs quickly and um, it's just perfect for no sewing um, projects that I like also, I saw in a couple of videos, they show that uh, Eileen makes a fabric, a fabric glue as well. And, you know, the people that tried it said that they really like it. So, you could try that as well if you don't have the Beacon Fabric Tap glue. But I love this glue. Love it. Love it. So, like I said, cut out your square that you want. And you want to have enough space around. And I just... I adhere glue around the edge basically hope I'm in frame you know I kind of like just spread it and get some on the surface and I put it in the center. Oh, sorry guys, I don't really like glue on my finger. And I basically just squeeze the fabric around the edges of the heart. I do that by cupping it. And like I said, this glue, it grabs really quickly. And basically, you know, I'm like molding the heart into the fabric, if that's a proper description. <laughs> and when I think it's grabbed enough, I go around and around, molding it to get the um, the edges. You know, you could see the the heart. On the other side, I just go and bend the edges. Basically open it, open it up like that. And I'm going to do basically the same on the other side. Right around. And again, I spread it a little. And I'm going to, it's like making a patty, I guess, <laughs> or a sandwich. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same cupping effect. Sorry if I was shaking the camera, the tripod is on the table and I didn't realize that the vibration from my hand was shaking it. And then I pinch it just to make sure that the two edges make good contact.
trying to get a good definition on the edge. And don't worry if your glue seeps through a little because remember this is burlap. Um, it's not tightly woven. Your trim or whatever decoration or pearls or whatever you're going to put on the edge is going to hide all that. And I think that's good enough. When that's done, I just take my scissors and I don't cut all the way close to the edge. I give it, you know, um, I would say half an inch you want to give yourself or quarter, it depends on how much you need. You need the edge to layer your trim, lace, pearl, whatever. And just cut it out, basically shape of the heart. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make sure that it does look like a heart. And this comes together quite quick. there you go so see quick and easy so you would put your your trim around the edge whatever it is front and back if you want to dangle any um, charm or anything you could put it peel this open and push your uh, what you call it the eye hook right in there with fabric tack glue again or all the way through into the styrofoam you know and then you glue this back and then you put your trim you could hang it you could use your pearl beads or ribbon seam binding whatever it is you want to use as your hanger I tear it right here and basically that's it quick and easy to do no fuss no no mess so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.